Chris and say something. Just, this is a game. It's called The Keeper. Where did we We're find doing... the tape? I don't know where we found the tape. Probably in your bumbus. Chris is sassing me because I sassed her. It's very rude. You ready to play The Keeper, baby? Just go. The seagulls. I like that one where we were the keeper and there was like something oh, underneath. Shit. Oh, I'd sleep. So are all of I'm these going to be lighthouse themed or just this one? Just this one. Oh, we're on our boat. Oh, the fog's getting bad. I can barely see a thing. We're like an actual pirate, by the way. It sounds like, doesn't it? See that picture on there? Mm -hmm. I think it's meant to be a picture of a family. Oh, what? Oh, come on, girl, just turn. No, you're oh, running aground. We're fine. Oh, Christ, my head. What in the pissing hell is he doing up there? Oh, we're not the key person. The, the, the person in the lighthouse is. Also, yeah, this picture, I think it's going to be a picture of like our family, but it looks like a picture of a grey box. Because we're playing on the PS1 type thing. So anyway, let's go and ask the lighthouse keeper what they're doing. They're not doing anything. You were the dipshit that didn't see the lighthouse. I mean, was the lighthouse on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it is our fault. But he's what pretty sassy. Place? I don't remember seeing this on my way in. Did the island teleport? Hmm? Hmm? This is quite nice. A nice place. Dad, I've watered the plants already while you were out. Don't do it again, remember? Last time you ever watered them? I don't want to have to replant the entire garden again. Please listen this time. Just water the plants with salt water. It'll be fine. Right? No. Hey, you. What are you playing at? Why was your light turned off? You could have bloody killed me. I thought me. it was on. What the hell was that? Where'd he go? Maybe I'm just seeing things. It was a nasty crash after all. Okay, so if this was me and that just happened, I'd get on the boat and be like, I'm waiting here. At least till I'm too weak to move and then I'll go and look for the White House Keeper. You know? That sounds very stupid. Well, mm, it's locked. I am a very stupid person. You are. Hey! You might be like, Bubby, you're not stupid, you're a numpkin. Listen, Bob and Nunkin. What the hell is going on? Okay, it is out at the moment, but I swear it was on before. Hello? Is everything alright in here? Oh, you're back already. Hey, wait. Hello? <gasps> Baby, the door's open. Baby. The ghost wanted us to get bolt cutters. <laughs> so numb. I don't appreciate what this ghost is suggesting. <laughs> Jesse, for Christ's sake, stay out of here. There's nothing for you in here. If I find that doll of yours in here one more time, then I swear to God. Okay, so that was probably the ghost of the kid we just saw, right? There's probably a dead Why kid. Do you keep okay. I mean, there's probably a dead family here. Let's be honest. Mm, looks like I'm missing something. A few brain cells? I just want to check something. Look at this. Is this something? No, that's just a warning sign. Oh, I thought it was like a puzzle. To be fair, in my defense, it could be a code for a puzzle. I mean, it could be. It, it probably isn't, you're right, but there's a grave here. Jessica Cohen? Why do I know that name? It's a pretty common name. That would be why. Somebody got beaten the hell in with the face of something. 
I said that completely wrong and I had a mini stroke. Excuse me. Could you rephrase that, please? I don't know how, but I know what I meant. <laughs> Someone got made into jam. Yes. The child got made into jam because the doll was in the shed again. Dad, I hate needing to leave you notes everywhere. It's like I never see you anymore. You're still taking me shopping to start work on Mum's garden tomorrow, right? Yeah, sure, I'll take you down the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I need the bolt cutters for. Bolt cutters removed. Okay, apparently you open that and get the massive key. Cool. I miss her too. Why didn't you speak to me? A yell? Don't worry about it. Mr. Cohen, we'd like to speak to you regarding some of your daughter's recent behaviour at school. We understand times have been hard for your family recently, but this is unacceptable. Please book a meeting with us at once. St. Annabel Primary. Where is this school? It's on a boat. It's a floating school. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. She, 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 she drank some rum. You know, she was like doing a pirate thing. That's why she's in trouble. Oh, oh my god. I like the smoke, the, the steam. The amount. Yep, that's not steam. Uh, that's fog, dust. sorry. Rolling. No, that is just dust. Is it? I'm sure it's just dust. Maybe it's fog, but it looked like a mu like you opened the door and, and there was like... just a, a, a storm of dust. I love you, Daddy. I miss you. Can we talk when you get back? I never get time to speak with you anymore. I'm so lonely. That is a very shallow fireplace. I'm not comfortable with that. The keeper too, Deja Vu. There's something in the fireplace. There's something in the fire. It's a crowbar. I would not want to pick up a crowbar that's been in a fireplace. I kind of think that hot metal is a bad thing to touch. From the desk of Andrew Cohen. To whoever finds this note, please do not think less of me. I tried, I really did. It's just too hard. Each day is agony and I can no longer bear life alone. By the way, babe. Do you have your phone with you? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Why? Because the puppy is coming home and we've got to keep an eye on the time. I better keep hold of this. Okay, so we're going to fill the bucket up with water and then dunk the water on the fire. No food again. Did you ever go shopping or where you were drinking? Or were you drinking? All or where you drinking all day again? This isn't a bad house, by the way. You know. It's a bit odd. I mean, yeah. It's quite big, though. <laughs> Why is there a life preserver in the tub? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That was actually quite cool. Okay, so I think we have a full bucket now. But I'm going to check the other Ugh. rooms, okay? What a mess. Ugh. Private and confidential. Mr. Cohen, we regret to inform you your wife isn't responding to the treatment. The cancer is spread to Mrs. Cohen's lungs, and I fear it's no longer treatable. You may wish to begin preparations you see fitting. Okay then. So, I guess mum died, dad got super depressed and drunky, probably killed the kid. Mm, looks like I'm missing something. And uh, everything, everything went, went to, to shit, shit, basically, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm so glad this isn't boiling hot. We need to follow the light. We need to follow the light. I would not be putting all of this effort in. Why don't we go and get some flowers? Soon. You just got some rest. That's us. We're the lighthouse keeper. And we're coming. We've been, like, brought back here for some reason. There's a doll. Huh. Cute. My little sister would love this. I think we are the lighthouse keeper, you know. Dear Diary, it's been so long since we lost Mum. Dad's been away almost every night since, and I've been left here alone. I know he's grieving, but so am I. I need someone to talk to about it. I don't think I've seen him sober once since we got the news. I mean, that's a really sad situation. Was it a ghost fart? Do you think I can take this pendulum? This looks useful. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh no. Hey, yo. I'm sorry, Jessica. I don't think he killed Jessica. Oh, yeah. I better keep hold of this. It was all your fault. Nice place, this. Why do you think he didn't? Uh, because he wrote a note saying sorry to her. I think that's odd if she's already dead. There's her, see? I better keep hold of this. 
I got a large light bulb. I guess we have to fix the lighthouse. Hey. She's gonna jump, isn't she? I need to install the bulb before I can turn it on. There's a thing on the thing where she's standing. Yeah, I was... Hey. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I've tried talking, but you don't want to listen. We both miss Mum, but I can't go on like this. It hurts to wake up in the morning. I just can't take it anymore. I love you. Oh, okay. They so both she, killed she, themselves. She, yeah, they both killed themselves. That's depressing as fuck, isn't it, no, really? But can we watch the ghost? <laughs> Oh, never mind. I thought she's she was going to jump. She's just doing jump. She won't do it till we turn the light on. Now she's still. That's pretty sad. It is pretty sad. But I gotta admit... Wait, is that us? No, there's another boat showing up. Oh. Well, are we the ghost, or are we just trapped in like a time loopy thing? It's like we're trapped in like a time loop. I don't, I don't really understand the time loop thing. Like it was a sad little story. I'll give it that. I just wish it was a bit more clearer on what happened there. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's supposed to be us re reliving our last moments, or if we are now somehow trapped in a time loop because we messed with the lighthouse. I don't know. But it was still uh, interesting. It was still interesting other than that. Interesting little story. All right, let's move on to the next bit of footage. This one I found inside a box of cereal, you know, like a toy in the 90s. I'm pretty sure that still goes on. Always. So numb. I'd like to thank our Patreon supporter, OD Chatfield, for bringing this video. Thank you so much, OD Chatfield, you super numpkin. You are fantastic and beautiful and wonderful, and we love you. Shout out to our producer, Alison. Well, of course, her link's on screen. She's amazing, Nomkin. She's streaming Mass Effect recently. She's fantastic. Check her out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the games in this found footage. All right, here's the second game today. It's called A Desert Fable. Let's play. Well, where'd you find it? I found it in some cereal, like I said. Oh, right. I ignored you, but I L didn't. Literally seven I seconds ago. To you. you ignored me, but that's very bum. I didn't, though, because I responded to you. <laughs> Three Sorry. brothers try to escape death, learn their stories, then seek the hidden oasis. Okay. Okay. Actually, can I take this? Not a fan of the body movement in this so far. You might want to look away for this one, baby. Mm-hmm. Well, here's a skull of a cow. The first brother <gasps> thought love would save him from death. Oh, he's a silly nomkin, isn't he? The third brother was a mighty king. He believed his legacy would live forever. And the second brother? The second brother hid in the one place he thought death would never look. Okay, well, I guess we'll do them in order. So, the one that thought love would protect him is the first. Oh my god, the run in this is insane. It's like I'm skimming across the sand. Well, maybe you are. 
Maybe. Maybe I'm not maybe, a little stone. Maybe you're like, no. Maybe you're like one of those little weird lizards. Oh. Death visited while the brother was out and took his lover in his stead. Oh, shit. This is the other one. This is the second one here. So let's go and see what happened here, I guess. But it didn't explain how the brother died. I, I don't know. All right, so this is the second brother here. Nestled in the coffin and hidden among bodies, the second brother thought he was safe. Guessing that isn't the case. And let's head over to the third brother, who was a mighty king, remember? Also, if one of them is a mighty king, why isn't he bailing out his bros? He's probably loaded! I don't think money necessarily... <laughs> I mean, money can get anything. Because you could have hired them like bodyguards and shit, okay? That's how it works. I don't think that works with death involved. Alchemists and physicians, scholars and holy men, all hopeless. In his desperation, the third brother found promise sealed below the kingdom. Okay. Now where the fuck do I go? Do you think I should follow the cactuses now? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. We'll fig we'll tell you when we're, we're, we're done and figure this out. Definitely don't let this is making me violently ill. Okay, well there's a body here, Bevy. Hello. Who are you? Fighting tooth and nail, the second brother lost his battle against death. Okay. I guess we just need to find all the bodies and be like, Oh, I'm very sorry that you got turned into jam, sis. Mm, sounds about right. The third brother awoke something sinister beneath his kingdom, and death came for them all. No. Oh. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay. So, the first one hid in the coffin, but it didn't work out. The third one wanted to uncover dark secrets, accidentally summoned a demon, and killed everyone in his kingdom. Okay. Let's see what befell the first one. I reckon the first one ate some delicious eggs. No, because that would mean that the eggs killed them. Yeah. The evil eggs. I thought you liked eggs. I do, but not evil ones. Hmm. Heartbroken alone, the first brother took his own life. Well, isn't that lovely? So his wife was killed, and then he died. You have learnt all their stories. Now seek the hidden oasis that lies towards the moon and between the dunes. So, literally here, probably. Because these are the dunes, and there's the moon. Hidden oasis, here we come. I will say, I kind of thought their stories might be a little more involving than they died. But, I'll take it. What does a hidden oasis look like? Is this it? No way. No, this is just like a tree clipping through the floor. Okay. <gasps> Baby! I think I see it. All I need to do is not throw up before I get there. <laughs> Baby, we're mm. in the cave to the hidden oasis. That is very nice. Okay, this doesn't look very oasis -y. It looks like a graveyard, actually. But, uh, okay. There are bodies. Oh, it's the same thing. Hopeless, inevitable. This desert has no end and this life has no person purpose. Knowing that, why struggle? Let the oasis be your tomb. This isn't an oasis! There needs to be water! <laughs> Hello? 
Who's talking to me? Can you hear me? Maybe. What's it to you? Prove them wrong. I can help you escape. Okay. Find my fire outside the cave entrance. Oh, it wasn't here before, but it is here now. Hello, magical green fire of destiny. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, it's cute, Bubba. It's got, it's, got, it's got a Bubba voice. See? If you still think life is worth living, life is meaningless. Get to the beacon. Death is inevitable. Oh, fuck. We're being chased by... Oh, God! I don't know why you stopped to look at it. There's no way. It's way faster than us. It's saying something about Sasquatches. Pretty sure. Get to the beacon. Nothing bad can possibly happen. Oh my oh, god, it's so wow, it's far so away. so far away. <laughs> I'm hoping it gets kind of stuck on the thing in the middle. That's like my only fucking hope here. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, Bumpkin. Where's this new Bumpkin? I don't know. Oh my god, it's still far away. Oh, there we go. There we go. What is this? That just looked like another grave. It was the grave where we started. The end. Okay. Um, that wasn't bad. That was okay. Please make the running less vomit inducing. But other than that, not bad. In concept, a nice little story, right? Mm hmm Let's move on to the final game. Where did you find this one, Bebby? I didn't. Okay. Well, I don't know where I got it. I didn't get it either, so, uh... <laughs> where's it come from? I don't know. And Pretzel's not even here. Oh, God. It's just a really spooky, random tape. It might well be. Oh, my God. What are we gonna do other than vomit? At the thought of that, because I definitely feel very ill after that last game. All right. I think it doesn't help that it's very warm. You ready? Mm -hmm. This is that night. Press F to toggle flashlight. We are a girl walk going for a stroll in the nighttime for some reason. This flashlight is awful. May as well just leave it fucking off, really. Look! Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> I think, to be fair, not great is a fucking understatement here. Listen. Don't worry about it. I will say, there's no head bob. And I can't run, so this is perfect. Where's that light coming from? Mm. Oh, hello. I'm not quite sure why people would want to take a night stroll. It freaks me out too much, but I'm a mess. The bin fell over, that's all. Okay, that wasn't a bin. Bebby, I just realized something. What? Bin sounds a bit like bim. Mm hmm. And that noise. Sounded suspiciously like. <gasps> Peppy. It's Big Bob Bim! No, it's not. That's just our character laughing, by the way. She's listening to a podcast that she finds really funny. Okay. There was something at my feet there for a second. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Hey, it's Big Bum Bim, Bebby. He's no, wearing antlers. No, it's just a green man. You're in his forest and he doesn't like you here. Are you denying the bimness? Listen, Big Bum Bim yes. is responsible for a great many things and a great many horrors. Yes. But he doesn't have antlers. Oh, I suppose so. On the 15th of October 1970, Frost was reported missing by her sister, having failed to return home from a walk in Prince George, British Columbia two days earlier. Frost has not been seen since. I don't know if this is real or not. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, 
you can support our Patreon, patreon.com slash crankstv. And you can watch us live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash crankshow. And follow me on Twitter for hilarious cutting-edge social commentary at Macamix. It's not actually that. It's just a bunch of memes. And boobs. Mainly memes. Mainly memes about boobs. Memes about birds and saying, look at my boobs. Yes. Please, said. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go now. Goodbye. Have a good Christmas. <laughs>